So the first session is called Setup Sim Template. So there are several, uh, there is one file in there. So in this SP file, um, there are already several um, things in there. Uh, so pretty much uh, this is the handout for this session. So pretty much we'll show user there are certain things that you can import, uh, which are not limited, limited to appearance profiles, resource statuses, and uh, resource costs, right? So Okay, so I'm opening Synchro right now. Mm. Yeah, just hold on for a second. Okay. Yeah, so this session should be really quick. Okay, so the first thing what I can do is that I can go to import and then import content from uh, uh, the template file. Okay, so for example, Let's go to here. Yes, if I select this uh, template and then click next, and then I know uh, when I work on a new project, I can reuse appearance profile from a, another project that I worked on. So I can go to appearance profile, uh, skip all, right? I skipped all already, and then only set import to appearance profile. After that, I can click import. Okay, you can see I have created 18 appearance profiles and I've merged four, which are the system ones. After that, I can hit finish to uh, finish this process. Right, to check appearance profile, I can go to assign resources ribbon, go to appearance profile, and you can see those are the profiles that I have imported. Okay, uh, right now I don't see my appearance profile in my 3D view. So for that, I can go to 3D view properties window on the right hand side. And then go to, uh, let's see, um, yes, let's check this box under indicator that says legend, right? Now I do have a list of appearance profile, right? A display in my 3D window. However, this list tends to get too long and then it gets behind the view cube, right? I could also go to, um, Let's see the new uh, new legend tab. Okay, in 3D view properties, I can show legend instead of top right, and then I can move it to set it to top right. So then it'll ap ap uh, appear right here, right? Okay. Moving forward, I can also decide like what are the appearance profile I want to show in my project. Okay. So those appearance profile were created from uh, a project that I worked on. So I'd like to share those with uh, people who are interested. And it also I think it's also uh, it's a good habit to set up some company standard to reuse those appearance profiles. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to talk about. The second thing that I think uh, it'll be nice for people to set up will be resource statuses. Uh, resource status is another feature um, uh, in Synchro that allows people to status the resource using Synchro uh, mobile app site, right? Okay, so if I go to file, import, do the same again, go to Synchro project, and then double click, go to Synchro project template, and then click next, skip all. This time I can import um, the resource status, right? And then go to import, click import, and then hit OK. Okay, right now, if I go to, I think, uh, Project Controls or Navigator, you'll find the Resource Statuses uh, icon. So that'll turn on the additional window that I need for Resource Status, right? You can see I have different uh, color uh, sets uh, for Resource Statuses that have been set up and they import it. So those are something that we used on a past project that I think may be interesting to uh, our, our, our clients. For example, for interruption sets, we have different colors set up uh, to say, okay, this uh, this resource or object will be delayed or, um, you know, uh, due to uh, certain reasons such as, you know, broken, change order, RFI, uh, defect, rework, inspection, etc. Um, but those are all good to have. Um, so, uh, yes, to show those in the 3D view properties again, so uh, you need to change the color mode to a resource status, okay? Then the resource status color will replace where uh, the legends were, and it'll show up in the 3D view. 
Um, so resource data is only uh, mostly needed when you're using SynchroSite or SynchroXer uh, for uh, statusing um, or field verification uh, for resources. Okay, so those are good to have as a company standard as well or a department standard. Okay, in addition, uh, what we've seen uh, that our clients are doing, in addition to resource status and appearance uh, profiles, is that we can also import uh, resource cost from another project, right? So to do that, we can go to File, Import, Synchro Project, um, Synchro Project Template, and then click Next, and then Skip All. Then here, I can import two things that I think needed, right? So first thing is resources. The other thing is cost, because those resources come with their unit cost or unit price. Okay, after that, I can click Import. After that, I'll hit Finish, right? So right now, you can see this is my uh, uh, imported resources, right? They include some material resources such as uh, concrete, exterior windows, exterior doors, formwork, etc. Include certain labor resources, human resources as well, and they also equipment resources. Okay, however, how do I display their uh, costs, uh, their unit price, right? So what I can do is that I can right click uh, in the resources window, customize columns, and then let's find out if there is cost associated with those resources, right? Um, so if I type in a uh, cost in the search box, and then I can then um, drag cost and cost type, uh, those two columns into the selected columns uh, box, and then hit OK. So what you can see is that here are the costs imported along with the resources. That is to say, if you have a historic cost data that you want to import uh, from a past project, which is a synchro project, you can do that. Also, don't forget that you can always populate those in Excel, right? All you need to do is to export into an Excel spreadsheet, okay? Update them properly and then import them um, by the updated Excel spreadsheet, okay? So this is the third thing I wanna point out. Okay, one more thing that's probably uh, not listed in the outline of the handouts, but we always import uh, um, user fields with formula, which we'll touch upon later. So for example, on a past project, I always compute um, you know, a certain user fields uh, with a built-in formula, right? So in this case, I am going to skip everything else and then only import the user fields. After that, I'll hit import. Okay, so right now if I open the user fields window, okay, you'll see that I have two task user fields imported, right? So each of them contains a formula, okay? So if you open it, you can see this is the formula that I have in there to compute the steel, the steel weight uh, per task. Okay. Also, in addition, I can take a look at the concrete volume uh, formula. Okay. So those formula are just for your reference and then to help you understand the user field with formula that was that were built in a past synchro project can also be imported into uh, a new synchro project. Okay, of course, you may say, okay, the best way right now, uh, when I start on a new project, right, instead of importing everything one by one, how about I just import, you know, my synchro project template and go from there. Of course, you can do that, right? So as long as you need all of the information from a synchro template project, you can start with a synchro template project and then do save as and then call this project, okay, uh, probably, mm, you know, my project one or something like that. And then just save. And then after that, you can start to import your models from Bentley, from Autodesk, uh, Revit, or Navisworks, and all that, right? Okay, this is pretty much this session. Um, how to build your uh, template and then what we think are the good content that you can reuse on your other projects. Hope you like it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.